Hi guys, Ash here and this is my tutorial on how to route the Galaxy Note GTN7000 that's the international version uh, running stock ice cream sandwich so guys the prerequisite for this uh, is that you need to uh, be on stock ice cream sandwich uh, you could have upgraded to it over the air or you could have bought the phone running uh, ice cream sandwich either way it will work it will not work if you're on gingerbread and you also need to have an external SD card alright so just to show you guys I'm currently on um, LP8 and that's Android 4.0.3 it will work on 4.0.4 .4 as well alright guys this is the simplest method because uh, you do not have to download any huge files you will not lose any apps or data or call logs or texts uh, all your data will still remain alright all you need to do is hit links 1 and 2 and download both files and transfer them onto uh, your external SD card alright once we've done that guys all you need to do is hold the up volume power and the home keys at the same time just keep holding it and you can let the keys go once you see a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note displayed so this will take you into Android system recovery alright just focusing alright so right now the volume keys are used to scroll and the power button is used to select so scroll down to update uh, apply update from external storage and now uh, get link one that's cwm.zip and hit power button again wait while it does its thing alright so now we have clockwork mod recovery this is a temporary clockwork mod recovery installed so right now select install zip from SD card it's touch based and now uh, you go to choose zip from internal SD card I know we transferred it onto the external but uh, they kinda get swapped over here uh, head, heading choose zip from internal SD card is what's gonna gonna take you to your external SD so over here link to super SU busy box installer hit it and then again tap yes install alright now once it says install from SD card complete now go back I'm sorry go back and hit reboot system now so we're up here guys uh, all your apps and data will still remain but you will have one extra app and that will be super su continue just open it once and once it's done go back so if it's just super user access that if it's just root access that you want guys uh, you know if you just want to run root apps like set cpu uh, or titanium backup or ad free and so on then you're done with the tutorial over here guys you can just go ahead uh, hit like and subscribe and you know be done with it uh, but if it is uh, if you want to actually get clockwork mod installed uh, if you want a custom recovery installed uh, then go ahead and continue just hit link 3 download the speed mod kernel from link 3 and transfer it over to the external SD or internal SD and uh, now once you're done with that open up play store and search for mobile Odin Pro guys this is a paid app uh, if you I mean I would uh, really suggest that you pay you buy this app because uh, if you're gonna go ahead and flash custom uh, uh, custom recovery and you're gonna uh, flash custom ROMs in the future this is very useful uh, and if you guys don't want to pay for it then Google is your best friend search for the app search for the light version that is available for free on XTA find it install it so I'm gonna use the pro version I've bought it already just open the app Grant super user uh, privileges and hit download. All right, guys, just hit uh, no thanks here. Yeah. All right, so first uh, tap on kernel and navigate to wherever it is that you've uh, 
save the speed mod kernel and I've go down and hit flash firmware make sure your battery is over 50 percent continue alright guys we're back up here uh, so just going into settings quickly and there you see we are running the speed mod kernel and uh, you also have clockwork mod recovery installed to check it uh, up volume power and the home buttons at the same time letting it go there you see clockwork mod recovery and now holding down volume power and home again so heading volume up to continue and there you see guys uh, the custom binary download says no current binary is Samsung official which means that your counter has not been triggered and you can just follow my Android tutorial if you wanna sell your phone tomorrow or you wanna give it in for send it in for warranty purposes. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to uh, rooting the Galaxy Note GDN7000 which is running a stock version of the ICS. Uh, so if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. Uh, so, and again, guys, this method does not increase your counter like I showed you guys. So, it's uh, you can just follow my Android tutorial if you want to sell your phone or you want to, uh, you know, send it in for warranty. Again, the link to my Android tutorial is in the description. So, use it if you want to. Uh, so, that's pretty much it, guys. Before you go, make sure you hit like, you hit like and subscribe to my videos because I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy Note. Uh, the S3, the One X, and so on. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to do me a favor, use my links to Amazon in the description. Uh, the ones that say Galaxy Note uh, to purchase a Galaxy Note or Galaxy Note accessories. Uh, you can just use it to purchase anything off Amazon that you want. Doesn't necessarily have to be Galaxy Note related stuff. Uh, you know, every time you place an order, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks depending on uh, the cost of the order. So that is if you guys want to help me out. So that's pretty much it guys, make sure you hit like and subscribe, you know, I'm asking you guys once again. So that's pretty much it again. So thanks a lot for watching guys, I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.